Captain Hillian today, along with... Hey, some mighty stuff, Lieutenant Drake here at your service. <laughs> and, and welcome to Showcase Sunday number 98, with just two away from 100. And uh, yeah, what we do with this is we basically take a few games, try them out for about half an hour each, typically four, sometimes more. And yeah, we'll see if they're any good for streaming later or not. And uh, as nice as this game looks at the moment, it already has two very strong points against it, because the very second that I started it up, it caused a freak out with my mic and my headset to lose connection. So yeah. Yeah, no, here's the thing. If it only does it when you start it, but find the rest, it's doable. Yeah. Provide me prepared to deal with it. Okay. Yeah, and this. Let's start the timer. This game is called Lost Winds, as in one word. And I believe it is a Wii port. It's just, well. with the cursor and all of that. Okay, try um, to explain a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> Down and we go then. Already? Okay. Now, I do re remember some of this game. Hello there, Marco. Hello, Paul. Uh, Marco. <laughs> uh, it's uh, there, up. Okay, stone. Oh, at last you have found me. Please don't be afraid, young one. My, uh, yeah, my name is Envil, the Wind Spirit. I've been trying to get your attention for some time. Didn't you notice when I tried to wake you up? Well, never mind that, little one. There's not much time and I have so much I have to tell you. You're probably wondering how a spirit like me ended up like this. Let me tell you how things came to be. Yes, he did. Many years ago, the ancient called upon a spirit to create this island, Mistralis. Is this an auto progress? We need to. Okay, I need to click. A spirit named Balasar abused this power and sought to rule over Mistralis itself as a god. For this, uh, for this treachery, we forged the spirit stone. Its sole purpose was to seal Balasar within it forever, so he could uh, do no more harm. Balasar fought against us in the power of the Spirit Stone. Nice artwork. For a time, it seemed as though it would not be enough to trap him. Using the last of my power, I summoned a furious tornado to enshroud Balasar. This was enough to weaken him, allowing the Spirit Stone to take hold. However, in doing so, I too was dragged into the Spirit Stone with him. Over the centuries, Balasar's anger twisted him into something far more terrifying. I tried to calm his raid, but still Balasar's power grew until he was finally able to weaken the stone. By just drilling at it with his tongue. Okay, good to hear, Marco. With his new power, Balasar finally managed to shatter the stone. This unleashed an immense and power that, that immense power that scattered both the stone and the spirit of Balasar across Mistralis. Unfortunately, I remained trapped within the fragments of the stone whilst Balasar was set free. <laughs> Someone got a, a tough deal. I can feel Balasar's power growing all around. I fear it is only a matter of time before he once again emerges. There is a great amount of work to be done if I am to stop Balasar. My powers are weak at the moment, but by working together we will achieve great things. Well, I guess we should find a way out of this cave. Let's see, Marco, I said thanks for asking to you. <laughs> uh, sorry about it, Marco. Uh, let's see, congratulations, you now have the power of gusts. Draw a short line straight to Toku to gust him into the air. Okay. Oh yeah, I think you usually ask how you are. I guess we forgot yeah. this time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, we can go higher than that. Let's see. Eat. 
Okay, okay, that would be for using it. A Wii port? I think. I remember something about this game and the Wii. Therefore, I, have a, I bought a while ago to my Switch a game that was a mobile port that got ported over to uh, Switch. It's okay, but occasionally I have an audio issue when playing it. It's got some guys very annoying. Yeah, that can happen. This then makes me wonder. Could that uh, was well, something like that happen? This game says it earlier how it started out when we started the game. Yeah. Let's see. There's something there, but we can't reach it. Yeah, it is. Is, if it behaves, do you already showcase? I could say maybe at least depending if it if we like it or not. Yeah. Let's see. Look at this place. I wonder who built it. It appears to be some kind of shrine. Let's look around. Maybe we can find some answers. Seems to be a shrine to the winds. Seeing as the element, this, our cursor matches this perfectly. From Marco. Anyway, my dad is calling to help him with something. Uh, all right. Let's uh, see. Like there's, that, an uh, Marco. there's an inscription here. It reads... Our creations answer only to the voice of the wind. Okay. I'm entirely sure what did that. I just clicked and held over it. Congratulations, Enril's power has now increased. Okay, double gust. You can now move Toku and objects higher and further than before. So instead of double jump, we have double gust. Yeah. Okay. There. And what is that? Collectible. Okay. Hmm. The gusts do go, grow weaker as we do that, it seems. There. Hmm. Okay, this is nice and all, but it's... A, uh, whilst inside a poke, try gusting it, uh, it to spit Toku into the air. Okay. Poyak. Poyak, yep. It's, this is just going back around. Let's see, this is all interesting and all. Oh. Be careful, Toku. Those look like glorbs to me. They come from the decay of Belisar. This can't be good. Whatever you do, don't let them stick to you. Okay. This is all nice and all, but nothing about this game is grabbing me at the moment. Yes, yeah, same. Like, I, I did see some caution that we could add to the steam, but it still needs to grab our interest first before we gain mm. any other mercy other mm. mercy okay that, that that sounds rather yeah let's see look at that little sampling the poor thing looks rather thirsty to me and toku is just faced through a mushroom <laughs> i bet with a strong gust i could splash some water onto it there we That's go. It... As well, I got some water. Anything and hidden? And what I feel stuff today? I was at a Chinese restaurant, and of course I had to eat uh, Modest Partners leftovers. And yeah, this went fine, but as usual with some food, it, it will take a few minutes before it hits. Let's see. We can draw a straight line of fire. But we can't bend it that way. Get rid of you. There. Let's see. This is nice and all, but one problem with a lot of uh, with a lot of Wii games was that they were rather simple. Yeah. Or specific to Wii itself. 
Let's see. Such a fine day. <clears throat> Such a fine day it is. Perfect for a spot of gardening. Like, so I feel like they were meant to be played on Wii due to, uh, you know, the special controls and all. And I'd be not to be surprised if some of their controls pushing over to a computer will feel a, a bit more awkward. I do like that you can just mess with things in the environment, like the smoke here and the water. Hello there, yeah. young Toku. What a beautiful day this is. I think Dio has been looking for you. I hear he's rather worried. Okay. Hmm. Oop. I think I found something. Oop. Melodia statues will record your progress as you pass by. Okay, save stations. If Toku dies, he'll return to the last Melodia statue visited. There you go. Uh, yeah, looks like we can travel faster by doing this. Uh, don't think we can get up there from here, so we'll have to just go this way instead. Hmm. Oh, uh, hello. Ah, oh, Toku, there you are. Get over here, you little sprout. Of all the... I've been worried rotten about you. Where have you been this time? Honestly, when I promised your mother I'd look after you, I didn't think it would be so hard. Never mind about all that. You were just in time for your first chore of the day. Oh, don't give me that look, Toku. Chores are very important. They teach us order and responsibility. <laughs> Dio, it's you. My goodness, I thought I would never see you again. I need your help, Dio. We must talk to the other spirits. I fear Belisar's power is forming once more. Dio, do you not hear me? Apparently not. No, Toku, I can you know, trust you to travel into town and collect some herbs that are required for the garden. Make sure to be careful whilst you are gone. There has been many a disturbance of late. Something is very wrong, Toku. Why can Dio not hear me? Maybe we should go to the village and see if anyone there can help. It's probably because Toku has the stone that is sealing him, so he actually has direct contact with it, so they can communicate you that way. Possibly. What was that? Okay, did something collapse? Just look at this mess. If the, rub uh, if the rumbles keep on, the village will be ruined. Oh, is that a landslide? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I still do give him one more. more. It looks nice, but... Mm. Let's see, how did you ever get up here? Can you fly or something? First one to comment on that. This village is bigger than I thought it'd be, though. And but... it definitely has a nice style. I can't really identify what it is. Is it Tibetan or something, maybe? Maybe. But there is something about it that feels... A Not bit too us. simple? Yes, too simple and... Uh, I don't know. It's something else. Why well, a good day to you, young adventurer. What whim brings you all the way up here? No, wait. Where are my manners? You must think me quite rude. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Note, Mr. Alice Explorer Extraordinaire. I have traveled the very length and breadth of this island. From whispering sands to the forgotten jungles. No cavern to cavernous, no river to ravenous, no mountain to... Yeah, well, Choco, he really does go on, doesn't he? Monster to monstrous. Excuse me, did you say something? You can hear me? Of course I can hear you. Wait a moment, you're a... a spirit. <laughs> My goodness, this is quite remarkable. We love spirits. I'm truly honored by your presence. My name is Envil the Wind Spirit, and this is Toku. Envil, you say? Interesting. This region is covered in inscriptions about a lost spirit named Envil. Really? What do they say? I like how he also moves around a bit on his own. From what I've been able to translate, it seems that after the wind spirit went missing, a race called the Melodias began constructing wondrous things to beckon the wind spirit's return. 
They believe these artifacts would aid restoring her power in a time when she would need it most. The Melodias themselves have since vanished, so nobody knows for sure how these artifacts work. Tuka and I blustered around some kind of shrine. Do any of the inscriptions refer to others like it? Why yes, I know of at least one other shrine in this area. I've read of a second, but never found it myself. So, you've been to this other shrine? Of course, <laughs> wouldn't it be an explorer actually in there if not, would I? No trail too arduous, no cave too odorous. Sorry, it's rather easy to get it carried away. There was a saying? Oh, yes. I believe the shrine dedicated to the meandering winds would be to the west of Wither Falls. Here, take this map to help you on your way travels. It's always served me well in the past. It's the west, you say? That must be close to where I found you sleeping, Toku. Well, Toku, I suppose we should bluster along now. <laughs> Notia, I thank you. You've been a great help. My pleasure. If there's any uh, way I can assist you further, do come find me again. Pause or escape to open the map. Okay. All right, this, this is nice. Every circle is a room, I presume. It shows areas of the world you have explored. With a question mark, are destinations you should try to visit. Okay. Highlighting a location on the map will allow you to show... We'll, we'll show you its name in the bottom corner. Okay. Hmm. Now, one other drawback of Wii games, especially Wii Wear games, is that they were very limited in size. And I think this was a Wii Wear game? Hmm. Because maybe that it was only a very so little things they could do. Yeah. And there's actually something funny with that, which I think I forgot to bring up during our whilst we were playing Monkey Island. But uh, the, the Tales of Monkey Island uh, series, the, the, the Tale of Monkey Island episodes were also uh, published as we were. So the in <clears throat> the entire uh, each episode was very limited in its size. They could only be like forty two megabytes or something each. Oh yeah, or 31. I you telling this. Yeah, and in the on that island that you get stuck on in the first one, there's that club forty two or something. And there was supposed to be an extended scene uh, in the first episode of, well, <laughs> Guybrush mucking about inside, which technically still happened, but we just got to see it from the outside. And that's why they called it Club 42, because it was to be the 40 seconds <laughs> a megabyte of data, that cutscene. Oh, yeah, I could call it. You, you have to do that a few times. Okay. Man, so yeah, nice yeah, little game with this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I told that on stream, though. It's... No, you did. You did. Okay. Now then I've told it again. Let's see. Ruins. My beautiful herb shop is ruined. Those rumblings have been getting worse ever since those strange creatures started appearing around the village. It wouldn't surprise me if Notea awakened something when he was on his, one of his expeditions. Hmm... <gasps> Wait, they actually respond to... <laughs> okay, because they have to flap on as well. <laughs> but, yeah, nice little game. Uh, though I don't think it'll be for us to stream. So, shall we call it a bit early on this one? Yeah. I don't know. I, I think also what I feel is, like... I feel like it's aimed for a different aged audience as well. Hmm... Maybe. Like, a lot of Wii games were advertised towards younger folks and such. But not all of them. Yeah, hmm. not all of them. There were some... There were some horrors for the Wii. Yeah. And Mad World. So, moving on to the second game. If it wants to... There we go. Uh, very. This, is, this one is also going to very much be not for streaming, I'd say. Because there's not really a... Uh, <laughs> a story or anything going on, but this is Luftrousers. And what this is, is, well... It's a dog fighting... A little dog fighting uh, game. I forget how much it cost, 
But you do get progress in this. And let's see. Currently what I have equipped with this is a, sh <laughs> a plane, quote unquote, that is designed for ramming. So I, I need to dodge all of those bullets. And, well, it, it, it not crash like that. Yep, yep, yep uh, hello. Okay. I was decently good with this game in the past, but I've completely forgotten the controls of it. Besides turn and... Uh, <laughs> just bouncing around. Okay, yeah, the... The shrinking circle with that shows your health with it. Let's see, uh, hangar. Uh, I, I think the game got deselected and that's why it wasn't responding to anything. Okay. Uh, hangar. You, you get all of these ship parts that you can unlock and equip. Uh, let's see, we have a weapon, a cannon, we have armor body and an underwater engine so you could basically just dive with this thing uh, let's oop. I did not mean to launch but okay no but yeah basically try and get this high score try and get as far into this uh, as you can and there are some bosses and such but it's not really a story so to speak this is just a fun little time waster. I didn't even start the timer on this because we'll probably just call it after a few runs like this. Yeah, I'm already going to move. I do find it weird. I don't know why. If someone makes me think of Gamera. Okay. Uh, apparently, uh, this plane is called a war turtle. And what can Gamera do? Swim and fly. Okay, we do regain health as we not get hit and such, as you can see by the circle widening again. And I completely don't know how to actually fire the freaking cannon with this. I'm pressing a lot of buttons, nothing is actually happening. But yeah, as you progress, you will find more enemies to fight and such. Ooh, I got close. But yeah, this is this is a cool little game. I'll probably just call it on this one after we crash here. And let's. See. There are some more advanced maneuvers to pull off, like turning off your engine so you can turn a lot faster. And there we go. And yeah, you have these challenges let's see kill two aces in one combo kill an ace at max combo i forget what aces are it's one of an enemy type but they need to be a certain uh, either a certain time amount of time or a certain amount of kills before you get access to that I think but we yeah just, uh, we got missiles a spread shots laser original just machine gun and we can just go with random combination as well actually let's do a let's do a completely random run it actually changes up the challenges let's see win five games kill 250 fighters in total and kill a submarine okay let's see what did we end up with okay i think we got the underwater engine yeah, it just gives random names to these things. Uh, there we go. X is to attack. And I think this is just a machine gun. And also we've got torpedoes, it seems. You see machine gun? What are you shooting out? Massive balls of light. Oop. Gotta keep away for a bit. Oop. Wait, play five games already? Uh, I think that might be a bit glitched. Oop. Okay, just gotta dodge a bunch of little fighters. Oop, there's something big. A battleship. And that's a crash. <laughs> okay. 
let's call it on that one here. Yeah, just a, a fun little time waster if you don't have anything else to do. I think it's also on mobile or something. Oh dear. Okay, so that means on to the third game already. So yeah, we're just going through a bunch of them. But this should be the first full-time one, I think. This is Lumencrafts. Okay, and this game I got okay. pretty recently, I think. Let's see. Uh, the, the adventure. It's base defense. Okay, uh, let's just start a campaign. You were advised that you were about to start the game, but you didn't complete the tutorial. Okay, let's start the tutorial then. I played a demo of this first, and then I got the full game, I think. All right, yeah. Okay. Typical movement stuff. We have a drill, which we we can dig around with. Basically, this game is like an underground uh, factorio. Seems a little before I someone played like something like this years ago. Okay. I like this, this little is... thing that they just did with the, the auto drill. That's safe. So th that way I don't have to just hold in the button the entire time. I don't know, I don't know if I seem sort of play a prototype version of this game or something. Or is a another game very similar to this one? And there are a lot of games like this. Okay, we collect this, metal, and lumen. And with that, we're going to have to start building bases and, well, survive, of course. This metal is too strong for it, or not, this stone is too strong for our drill to get through. But I do believe there are drill upgrades. So let's just grab the last of this. Wave in half an hour, start the reactor. Uh, let's see, and the reactor is over this way. Okay, offline. Okay, just throw that in. Okay, get items from the chest. Grab this little bit as well. Just a bunch of metal. Make a pistol and some ammo at the workshop. Okay. Okay. Wait, I don't think I may have seen a little bit of this one, maybe, then. Do I think it was sometime before a Union stream here? Maybe. Okay, give me oh, that. This is not a new, new game, is it? Uh, not too new, no, and that... Okay, that was... I thought for a second that was... Ex <laughs> that was an explosive. Uh, let's see. Let's put that in our first spot there. Dig up the metal and lumen deposit. Okay. Is there a way for me to swap between... That's... Uh... Hmm. Okay, well, the only thing I feel like they, they only played the demo since... Well, it was the only one available of this game back then. Okay. It has been yeah. a while though. Yeah, I think this game came out, like, last year or something. As a full release? Uh, yeah. But then it would make sense if the... Since demos and early access usually comes out way before the release. Ooh, ooh. There's the pistol, okay. Okay, yeah, I remember that some places will collapse in because you'll be digging over a little nest of these little bastards. Of course, we'll be seeing a lot more of these in the coming attacks. But yeah, it's your, it's your typical... Uh, craft, survive, expand uh, game. Let's. Uh, 
Do I need... Okay, there. Oops. Okay. Head there. Continue with this. Hopefully we won't stumble across another nest. Okay. Okay, one minor complaint with this is that they could have just given us the resources instead of us toiling us to dig up another deposit, because there's not much happening now. Okay, mm -hmm. you got more to learn that you can get surprise attacked. Could be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta try and get all of this stuff. Oh, interact with the metal vein to build a miner. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Gives constant income of metal. Needs to be in range of a power source. Okay. And we'll place a storage container. Uh, let's see. Utilities. Light tower. Power expander. Where's a storage container in this? Light tower, health, lumen farm, power, shredder, storage container. Okay, we need more. We need more metal for that. Okay. There and there. No, we just need seventy. dig up a bit more but yeah from what I remember this is a pretty nice game but a lot of it is likely to be this yes okay there there so it also means it's easier to commentate provide there's enough topics yeah yes make a bit of space I think Lumen is required to actually power everything with the reactor. So there, there. Okay, that should catch all of the metal being thrown in. Let's see, Marco. Okay, I'm back. I have a break until my godfather finishes drilling the holes for the fence. Okay. Now we moved on to an, an, uh, through a few more games. Let's see. Use the other workshop to upgrade oh, your drill twice. Really? The holes for the drill. Are we playing his godfather at the moment? <laughs> I, I, I forgot to turn off the drill. There. Okay. We also need the lumen to upgrade things. Or maybe that is primarily what we need it for. So. Let's grab whatever we can of it. Of course, we can also just track down veins of it like this, but we do need to be careful because there are hazards around. <coughs> and we'll see if the game will show these hazards. Okay. For now, that's that. We can get one of the upgrades now, but we need more for the other one. Yep, allow the drill to... Drill harder materials and also faster. Okay, whilst that is working, let's not get stuck behind that. And it wants to do another one. Okay, and that's already going a lot faster, as you can see. Is there any lumen hidden behind here or anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay. We need about f <clears throat> about 40 more. There. Yeah, much faster this way. There. Try and get all of this stuff. Won't be enough, but there's a good amount of veins nearby. 
over there. Oh yeah. Uh, like I said, nice game, but we'll probably won't stream this. Because, well, it's going to be a lot of downtime like this. Or, I, hmm, it is the tutorial, so this is too much of a sign of how the campaign is going to go. And, yeah, remember when I, what I said about hazards? You can guess what that is behind the lumen on the other side there. Lava? Yep. And that will flow out and start destroying all of your stuff if you unplug it. Of okay. course. So, yeah, keep an eye on that stuff. And, okay, use the build mage to build a power expander. Okay, that is... Yeah, power expander. Put that over there to extend the network. That will power these and this thing. Just gotta grab something to drink. Okay. Okay, get a lumen clump, select in the inventory and throw it in the shredder. There. And use your upgraded drill to reach the lab. Okay. Now, where is... That's over this way, it seems. Okay. Now we can dig through this harder rock. Not at the same speed, but we can still get through it. And wiggle. Power expander. There. there we go. Research any tech at the lab. Let's see, what have we here? Can we upgrade it to a higher level? Research that. Because now we're getting to the, well, defense part of this. Uh, and Marco's gotta go already again. Okay, see you in a bit then, hopefully. See you in a bit, Marco. There. Okay. Upgrade any stat at the scout. So Let's see, what is this? Backpack. Don't have enough for that. Let's upgrade our health. Use the repair gun to repair. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have a repair gun. Or is that something we pick up or something? Yep, we find it in the box. Okay. Let's put that in. Slot four. Repair that. Repair that. Okay, upgrade any turrets. Get it close. There. Increased rate of fire. Bullets will pass through enemies. Let's get it as well. Okay, you are now ready to face the enemies. You can use the react to shorten the waiting time. Let's do that. Uh, oh, it's me on the side. Let's see. Uh, search for lumen under the reactor. This will attract the attention of the monsters, making the wave come faster. Okay, we, so we get lumen, but it also... It's... Hmm. Yeah, in, in the, what, the, the main goal is to, well, defend this reactor. Okay, with each press, it... It lowers the timer by one minute. Nope, oh, half. Okay, it doesn't go below 15 seconds. Okay. Let's upgrade this thing as well. Okay, here they come. And yeah, that's a bunch. Yeah, they are literally eating through the walls. <laughs> so we can repair it. There. Okay, we... 
Anyway, and that's the tutorial. Yeah, hello, pizza lover! The 3000! <laughs> hello, pizza, are you doing well? Okay. And with that done, let's go to the campaign then. Okay. Start new campaign. Okay. Let's see how this goes then. <clears throat> okay. Welcome, Scout. So you got uh, so you got through the base in one piece. Good. I'd say I hope you'll find it adequate, but I won't. After all, it's your job to expand it. As a reminder, your mission is acquiring three lumen chunks. They are <clears throat> they are huge rocks of very condensed lumen, and is the ultimate energy source. Three of them will be enough to cover all our energy needs for a few hundred years. Ultimately, we want to establish a settlement here. The Earth became uninhabitable, so this is our only chance. Go to the elevator and delve down to complete missions. Missions will lead you rewards, including new uh, buildings for your base. Use the facilities provided to upgrade your gear and constructions. It's crucial for your success. Good luck, scouts. Okay, so is the... Is the actual gameplay more like a, ra a roguelike or something with a base that we can return to? Okay. So we have all of this, some of it which is locked off at the moment. Let's see, we have only a drill at the moment. Uh, it only becomes more curious now. It sounds more and more serious and there's a story. Let's see. Elevator is over here. As I brush along something the whole way. Okay. Let's see. Routine digging. Your job starts here. As a warm-up, you have to dig 100 lumens. Try to stay out of danger, but if a monster attacks you, just run. Remember that the reactor has defensive capabilities, so use them to your advantage. Okay, yeah, there is, there is just a full-on story campaign. <laughs> okay. All right. Also, very nice little animations with this. Yeah, normally as I saw when they, the other YouTube, some few YouTubers all play this. Again, they play the uh, access demo thingy. Probably to see how many are interested in the game. And since it was released not long ago, there apparently was enough demand for it. Okay, this, ha this has me reconsidering a bit. Because if there yeah. is just a full-on story, we might actually give this a shot. Yeah, and it's only a curious story, but... Now that you know what they, what they want to loom for, it's not always valuable. Yeah, because it's kind of needed that. to not go extinct. And is it just a few chunks? It's enough power for a few hundred years. Yeah, or the big chunks he meant, not these little bits. Yeah, but, but still, yeah. if you get a bit big chunk and lost you a few hundred years, depending on what that is powering, like if it's a power can power an entire city for a few hundred years, yeah. damn. Okay, there's some bugs that crawl out. Okay. It almost sounds like, it, it, like it's one of those power stores you feel like if we only had found it earlier. Hmm. Yeah, that's a, okay, so you, you can identify where they're going to pop out by the cracks in the ground. I just noticed that what just before I walked what? over it. Hmm? Are you taking over the shovel? No, with a spear. Oh. Oh no, no, I can't unsee it. Okay. Okay, they can lose the aggro. You know what I hope? Uh, what? Guardsmen of Krieg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shovels have been used as weapons before. Uh, I believe the I believe the Chinese army even has a combat shovel specifically. Yeah, so most time in, uh, in the in World War II and such, but more improvised weapons. There's bastards. People, people are... actually 
made access maces and all that from close combat in trench warfare sense. Yeah, good luck Yuxi using a gun when you invade a trench. Yeah. Okay, we are halfway to the amount of lumen that we need. We we'll grab whatever little bits that we yeah. can. I need to pick up that video again. There's a video I forgot to watch. Finally, mm. someone was insane enough and success so successful enough to attack a tank with an axe. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, we can see what I, I, I'm curious to wonder how and in what manner. Yeah, my, my guess is that they got on top of the tank and pried o managed to pry open the hatch or something. Possibly. Oh, is the lower us everything something? Yeah, let's see, I'm kind of yeah. alright. Was just playing Dark Souls, kept dying to an enemy, so just taking a break to relax. And accidentally kind of screwed myself by killing a blacksmith. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's not called Light Souls for a reason. Uh, it, yeah, but... Oh, I thought I misspoke there for a second, but I didn't. And let's see, that's all the lumen that we can see at the moment. We need only four more. Yeah. So, tiny yeah. bit. He isn't that important of a blacksmith, so I'm not too worried, but still sad. Yeah, I can see why, since... It's really fun to accidentally kill an NPC. Yeah. Especially a merchant one. Except when people play Minecraft and everyone's... Someone loves to kill the merchant there. Because they're annoying as all hell. And there we go. Guns basically suck <laughs> without shooting. Okay. Hmm. Well, someone shot. Mm. Okay. Well, it looks like a creepspan almost. Good job, you finished your first mission. You can use the lumen you got as a reward to buy upgrades. Okay. Uh, let's see, anything for upgrading our drill? And it looks like we're on the top of a mountain or something. Okay. Uh, let's see, backpack, size, stamina, luck. Okay, I'm guessing that's for critical strikes. Speed and hit points. Let's see, some of this stuff is still locked off. Probably because we don't have permission to use it or something like that. What's that mean over there? Okay, we can use our drill here. Hmm. Okay, let's get ourselves a revolver. Uh, no, we need iron for that. Let's see. Damage dealt. What's this? Yep. Upgrade the spear. Uh, let's upgrade it. Since it's our only weapon at the moment, and I don't see anything for upgrading the drill itself. Well, there's the spear, revolver, pistol, and what's the third one? Uh, RPG, assault rifle, shotgun, flamethrower. Oh! And that's the. Oh, I think this is for the there. drill. Yeah, oh, I think that okay. is for the drill. So let's go yeah, do we'll another mission. I was so focused on that, I did not realize there were orders uh, over there. Let's see. Tunnel struggle. You were lost while exploring a cave and need to get back to your base. Your only weapon is a spear. No time to practice your fighting skills. Okay. Okay then. So we just need to get that way. I'm just going to leave this That's alone here. for a moment. Yeah. Like, uh, med pack, some dynamite. Hmm? Is it, I think I can see people getting confused by a spear, but it kinda makes sense. Okay, we can charge this thing up to strike harder. Like let's be honest, a sword is all, but when the animal beast like this, spear is a good idea. Yeah, 
keeping distance and all that. Okay. What's yeah, this? Yeah, they used to yep. conserve ammo. And also, a spear is not quiet. Destroy the nest to get a key. Okay. Uh Okay, let's keep hammering on this thing. Does it mean stabbing? Also works. Stab, stabbing, frosting, skewing. Impaling. Okay, now you. Uh, okay. What other things does one do with a spear? Inventory full. Uh, okay. Hmm. What is this then? That was dynamite. <laughs> okay. Uh, stream timer went. Or the timer for this one went off. But let's uh, finish this little mission if it doesn't take too long. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. These first missions are just tutorials as well. Wait. Just more, are, are more, more specific let, things. Let me, uh, what just happened. Ah, I, oh, trash. Pro trash. Trash was your trash. Trash go boom. Wait. Yeah, you, you give the joke. Yeah. Okay, that turned on the power over there. It does that mean that this place is going to get attacked eventually as well? Hmm. Possibly. Okay, for now though, uh, I was really thinking to say no on this one, but now I'm putting it as a maybe. Same. You may want a map editor. Okay, next game. I know that Noon liked this game a lot, I think. If I can get the dumb thing to actually come there, now I can move it. Okay, uh, you've unlocked New Game Plus, congratulations. Every time you repeat New Game Plus, you can collect uh, upgrades again to go beyond your material slot, or beyond four material slots. But if you're aware, your foes will grow stronger with each iteration. Uh, yeah, this is Magic Maker. And yeah, I, I think Noon liked this game for quite a bit. But ourselves, let's start a new save, because I've basically forgotten what this game is all about. Uh, Get a job, hippie. Really? Okay, nice little crafted style. A Dragon Quills bookstore, not hiring. Wizard dry cleanings, not hiring. Bloodhammer financial magical tax return specialist, now firing. A wizarding temp agency? Nope. I can't wait to afford my. You know, to, I can't wait to afford to feed my kids again. Okay, I think we can see that the, this game is not serious at all. Let's see. Welcome to Wizarding Temp Agency, where we fully commit to keeping wizards employed. I gotta pay my rent this month. Okay, rent is one of the many exciting things you can afford once your state-of-the-art <laughs> job application spell finds you a career. I like things. Please wait while the job placement spell determines your future career. Original vegetarian, dishonest detective, unicorn investor. <laughs> Dragon Mon murder hunter, what? Okay, so, so Hobbit Kicker? <laughs> it, security it guard, bad. apparently. Uh, congratulations, according to your job placement spell, you'd be perfect as a security guard. Luckily, a local wizarding school, Dorwell Community College, needs a replacement. Oh, you'd be thrown up. That's Dorwell. <laughs> Dorwell. <laughs> I'll just teleport you to the aptitude test, and if you survive, you'll be hired on the spots. Wait, survive? <laughs> Wait, there means dying. Okay. Yep. Okay, we've got a magic wand. You just point and click. Let's see. Grade F rock, really? Okay, click a slot to add a material. Okay, so we can add our... We can add our rock to our wand. 
Let's see, can pass through walls for a limited time. Despite its, bland's appear despite its bland appearance, it may contain powerful magical properties. Or it could just be a rock. It's definitely not candy. Okay, then select the grade of the material by clicking it. So this, okay. For a quarter of a second, our shots can now pass through things. Spell effects are listed here at the top. You can also name your wand. Click finish. Okay. Wands have low spell power, but it can be used any time. Okay, so there's... And a spell book. Okay, cast spell using mana. Okay, oh, read. Okay. Spell books are a lot uh, more powerful, but they require mana to be used. Great, a fire crystal. Let's see. This crystal emanates a soft, warm glow, like a sunbeam. Cracking it releases a magnificent flame from within. Uh, let's see. Ignites enemies on contact, dealing damage over time. Fire can spread to nearby foes. When on robes, leave a burning trail on the f ground as... Okay. Uh, spells have more... P uh, uh, spells have more spell power than wands, but cost mana. Yep. Let's... Okay, we can put this on that now. There. And that starts a f that spreads fire. Okay. Uh, crouch. Okay, this new is curious. I'm sure we will stream this, but oh, it's feel like a prototype game. Also, I like that the the eyes follow the projectile. Okay, jump higher by holding. Detail. Okay, if your health reaches surprised. zero, you explode. <laughs> okay. Right. And great of lightning rod. I would not be surprised if they made, if they made this game, they are planning on a bigger game based on the system. Let's see. Walking builds up an energy shield that destroys enemies project enemy projectiles. A device for attracting lightning emits a steady stream of sparks that immediately return to it. Okay, uh, 3.5 magic meters. Okay, whatever that means. Let's see. Robes use material to provide passive effects such as protection or movement abilities. Okay. Let's see. The map <laughs> the map records areas you have explored. I like that they are adding adding things on as we go. The uh, gems are locked chest at the end of the level. Okay. Uh, wait, can I... Yes, I can break that. Oh, oh there, K. Okay. Wait. Did I miss one then or something? Let's see. Uh, there's another one of those plants. Okay. Okay, I didn't miss one. They're just in a different... They're not in... Well, in order with that. Oh, yep, yep, hello. First enemy. Okay, we're good. It's good that we have a sp have a shield. Otherwise, that we would have needed a bath. Okay, treasure portal. At the end of each level, you can earn treasure for each gem you find. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's for the game. Let's see. Door wall. Security guard license. And open these up. We get some rocks and crystals, some lightning Why are rods. Do I spell here dirt? Yeah. Not dying. But if you spell it with two R's, it means door. Okay. Let's see. There's no limit on to the spells you can create. Magic is great. Okay. Let's see. Okay, at these we can adjust anything. So we have our wands. Let's see. Quicksilver gear. A gear made of a rare precious metal. Can be ground into a fine powder to waste perfectly good materials. <laughs> Let's see. Causes projectiles to tra travel faster or increases move speeds. And then we have the trick bullet. Has a tendency to appear at highly climactic moments. Strangely enough, does not require a trick gun. Uh, ricochets towards the nearest enemy on hit, or boosts self-knockback distance on spellcast. Okay. 
And explosive powder. A dangerous powder that is prone to exploding, tastes sweet, makes for excellent pranks. Explodes on hit, damaging and applying effects to nearby enemies, falls off with distance. If killed, you explode after a delay. If the explosion kills an enemy, you are revived. Okay. Oh, wait, I realized that dub means dies, not dying. Uh, let's see, let's put uh. this on our wand. Um, let's put that on the that. Uh, there. And wait, what is this? En enhancements deal no damage, but have boosted spell power. Okay. Uh, let's just for the fun of it add this as well here. And actually, is it, is it only? Or does this somehow looks like a flash game? A bit. Okay. Like something from Newgrounds. Hmm. Okay. Let's see then. A Durwall Community College. No monsters. Uh, yes, yes. Congratulations on passing your security guard exam as headmaster. Uh, I am proud to welcome you as a member of our staff. Yada, yada, yada. Well, you've got a lot to take care of. Jump in that portal for your first assignment. Okay. Durwall without an E. Uh... Force zone. Oh. Uh, get lost associates find suspicious activities search for dangerous monsters and creatures uh, people have been recording goblins casting spells in the forest we all know goblins are too dumb to cast spells so go see if you uh, so go see if you can find out what's going on oh yeah don't forget to craft some useful spells for your adventure last week's security guard only had a basic one in a robe and kind of got exploded <laughs> okay, okay so we can set these beforehand let's just keep what we have Okay, and yeah, if my memory is correct, there are a lot of ingredients that we can put on things. Whoa. Let's see, that's great F illusion dust. Stone of Earth, okay. Luckily, the map shows us where all the enemies are, it seems. Or, oh, and where the gems are as well. Or is it? it? It no. It's just showing us. Oop. It's just showing us where we need to go at the moment. I'm guessing it'll reveal stuff as we get closer. Very uh, queen. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. What was damaging me there? Oh, she was teleporting into me, I think. Harpy feather. Crystal ball. Yeah, there is a lot of ingredients to mess around with to make your spells with. And yeah, as it said, when you when you new game plus, you can add more stuff to your you can add on more than three things. Okay, that's on the ground. So yeah, if, if you were to new game plus this game a lot, and it isn't that long, I think, you could just end up with like spells with 10 ingredients and even more. Just other oh, mayhem. Wait. Okay. How are you supposed to get to that chest there? Are you supposed to be able to get through the wall somehow? Maybe? Or dig? Did that goblin just spawn out of nowhere? Yeah. Oh. The crystal ball. Yep, crystal and a gem for us. Okay. But yeah, I guess in a way you could call this game a bit of a looter shooter, but more a looter speller. <laughs> Since you're looking for the gems for ingredients to make more uh, to make more powerful spells and all that, oh. oh come on, casting spells isn't that hard. Let's try this again. Slot the material and 
Yo, who are you? Who are you? I'm Azazel. Pleased to meet you. Um, rats. I probably shouldn't have said that. Looks, looks like the jig is up. Time for a pop quiz. Go goblins, destroy that wizard. <laughs> okay, we have to... Okay. <laughs> Were they just throwing giant axes at me or something there? Okay. Doesn't seem like there's any way up to the right. So we continue this way. Uh, anything hidden around here? There's a bunch of fairies. Um, yeah, like I said, nice little game, but probably not for us to really stream too much. Yeah, it is interesting. It has some interesting mechanics. Yes, yeah. the story is not, and the environment is not really gripping. I really definitely applaud it for the mechanics. Yeah, it, it is. Mo the, the story is supposed to be a joke for the most of it, I believe. Uh, he yeah. Hello, boss time. Fungus heart. Uh, Ambulus root. I, I, I missed what the second part said there. I do as well. Yep. I do think that uh, Hooper did very much made this game. Are uh, able to reuse the mechanics for future games. Yeah, uh, let's see. How many gems? We got all gems, okay. So let's head out and see what we get. Yep, the monster was hiding a hidden path containing fantastic treasures. The monster was guarding? A guarding. Let's see. Oop, you have unlocked artifacts. Jarney socks of jumping, hold Q. Drastically, in drastically increased jumping heights, effect lost upon movement or taking damage. Okay, <laughs> socks knock you off. Okay, powerful relics with effects. Okay, some more crystal balls and quicksilver. And out. Okay, this portal appears to return to the academy. Oh. Let's see. Mission complete. Wait, somebody named Azazel is teaching magic to goblins? I think I fired an Azazel last week. Kept complaining about not teaching monsters or whatever. Okay, and we got Illusion Dust. Shoots multiple projectiles at reduced spell power. Every few spell cast, your spell will be cast twice. Uh, projectiles home in on the nearest enemy. Always useful. And we're pointing to the nearest loot. And enemies are knock uh, enemies hit are knocked back. They take damage if knocked into terrain. Reduced fall speed. This effect can be disabled by crouching. Okay. But yeah, just a lot of stuff and a lot of combinations you can make. <clears throat> just not really too much for us, I think. Mm. Yeah. So I, I'd be I'd be willing to put it as a maybe just for going through the story once. Hey, you survived. Congratulations, or whatever. Uh, thanks. I guess I'll introduce you to the rest of the staff, then. You've already you've already met the wand maker, librarian, and tailor. Yeah. The customer will uh, the costumer will allow you to customize your appearance. The alchemist will help you create new materials for your spells. Talk to the artist to customize what your spells look like. And these portals lead to zones like the forest, where you'll find all kinds of chores and magical adventures for you to complete. <laughs> and our character fell asleep. Uh, fun and no slacking off guards. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, yeah, just a fun little, uh, yeah, funny game. Yeah. Auto save, always nice. Okay, so that's four games down already in. Like, <laughs> a bit over an hour. Okay. Game number four. Has this is why I... I yeah, this is why I have eight installed for these uh, streams. Oh, bloody okay. heck. And on the 12... Uh, uh, 100 episode... We're gonna have way more games to showcase. Yeah. 
Okay. This next game is also recently new, I believe. Being human in this world is a curse. Wait, what? I see the nothing. Of... I was the only white. What? Now is. There we go. Okay, aunt. GOG was causing that, so let's see. The th our only choice after we are born is to surrender to a life of slavery to those who wield mana. Which is not so different from the life we have hidden out there. Many of us are killed when our campments and villages are found. But this time was different. They came to destroy, but no one died that night. Specific humans were chosen and taken away from their families. That's when some of us decided to strike back. Okay, nice art. Yeah, and this game is called Mana Spark. Okay. And since I've already tested this game, whenever you move around, it swaps between a few <laughs> presets for the, the main menu. And yeah, just in really impressive art, huh? Yeah. Now let's see, an investment by SP Sign and, uh, okay, some cultural uh, ministry from Sao Paulo, okay. Wait, there. Hmm, okay, I thought there was a subtitle for a specific page or something. Okay, yep, Mana Spark Forgotten Crypts. Let's just start and see how this goes. I've ne Okay, I've never gotten to this point. Bit of a disappointment compared to the art from before. Let me reset the timer and start it. Yep, really? <laughs> the actual physical in the game here. Let's see, spacebar for a roll. Click to attack. That's okay. unique, but I don't know if I like that. Uh, Lee Wei. Okay. There you are, the trail goes this direction. These gates and stairs in the middle of the forest are so weird. We should keep looking for clues around this area. It's the only chance we may see our families and friends again. Our cart won't fit in here. We'll find another way around. We'll meet again soon. Okay. In we go. Let's see then. <clears throat> there. There. there we go. Some sort of oop. some sort of bad goblin things or something. Okay, I can see this game getting really tough later on because, well, it's it's known that I'm not too good with keeping track of my own movement and enemy movements in in the in top-down games like this. Let's see. How how did you get ahead of me? Look at this place I found. If we're serious about finding what happens to the people in our village, we can't just keep running around like fools. We can set up an encampment here, so we... Uh, what's that you're holding? <laughs> Holy crap, that's a completely real and charged rune. It's a magic stone that can hold small charges of mana energy for future use. Of course you never saw one. It's utterly insanely illegal for a human to carry one of these. But why would goblets... <laughs> Okay, so whoever's right, goblin bats <laughs> be carrying it around here. Oh, I have an idea. Give me the rune. I'll try using it to make a bright light in the forest so people coming from our village can see it and join us. Thanks. Keep an eye around and see if you can find anything suspicious. I'll be on my way to find more people to help on this. Okay. 
So I'm guessing that means other characters than just this archer here that we can probably play as. Let's see. No other so exits. It's, hmm? So it's similar to enter the gungeon? I guess. Let's see. Wolves Bang Woods. That's locked. And yeah, it looks like we'll be dealing with random... Uh, yeah, this is a roguelite. Okay. So there. I'm, I'm presuming at least that all of this is going... A lot of this is going to be randomly generated. Okay, that opened up that gate over there. Let's see, we have gold and rune stones as uh, currency. Okay. Hmm. Yep, yep. <laughs> Riding the damn thing. Okay. There we go. I think that's some kind of die wolves or something similar. Nope. Let's see, gourmet na knife. Meat collected with full health gives you gold. Okay. So we have the randomized items thing from roguelites as well. Ooh. Four. There we go. That's a book. Ham. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I have to say I was a bit... I. Was I am a bit disappointed that the art in game didn't turn out similar to the menu art. Oh. All of your runes are hidden here, are now hidden here. Someone will take them to the encampment as soon as possible. Okay, so these these drop boxes are for runes. Uh, let's see, one coin to act. What does that do? I can oh. see why you're disappointed. But also, someone um, likely used it since if you think about it. Old Nintendo games had awesome cover art and concept art in their manuals. But it okay, didn't barely look like anything like that when you played the game at all. Uh, let's see. Slows enemies as they cross the web. Heal some of your health. Can be used one time per refill. Refills in peculiar rooms. Petrifies enemies when this orb is damaged. Uh, let's take this. Healing is always nice. New item discovered. With some help, the blacksmith will be able to forge one of these. Okay, I'm, I'm getting... Uh, and we can rest to heal up. Okay, do we want to save the game and return? Okay, that, that is always nice when the game lets you uh, stop <clears throat> in-game without having to ditch an entire run. Okay, buried tunnels... Yeah. Oh, I'm okay, I can't this game being pixel get altered, but I do feel like they could have done a bit more with the pixel art, considering the concept art was so damn good. Yeah. Oh, and apparently the enemies can set off traps as well, from the looks of it. Okay, does that crosshair mean that they're... The little demon we've got following us is going to attack them, or does that mean anything else? There. Hmm. Okay, typically I'm not too big a fan of roguelikes, especially since they can be pretty bullshit, but so far so out good. And there we go. Okay, at least we got one runestone stored away. Okay, what is... Uh, re re really? <laughs> okay, that's new. Novel, but new. Alright, we just get back here? I still think there are people out there that can join us. Give me more runes so I can get their attention in the forest. Uh, need more runes. Okay. Greetings, good to see someone's working to find out what's been going on around here. I'll be glad to help as soon as I get rid of this mess. Okay, so with runes we get more people, with more people we get more options. Uh, what's this? Uh, oh, okay, you can even do co-op, but only local. Hmm. 
Okay, let's give this another try. And looks like we'll be stuck as this archer for a good while. If there are even other characters. I think the other characters we saw in concept of were the other characters you may recruit. I guess the younger archer is the first one you start with. Yeah, I'm, we can probably get more characters as we go. We'll just have to see. This is only like uh, dipping our toes in everything. Okay, the, the goblets will actually run for these things. That's two rune stones and one bit of health lost. Ooh, hello. What's this? Revive you. Okay, revives you one in the current room where you die. Okay, that's that's very strong actually. Especially if you can save it. Okay. Okay, so that's, that area is always just going to be two floors, it seems. Put those in there. Uh, what have we here? Automatically shoots arrows at nearby enemies. Okay. And we can roll again, but let's see. Petrifies enemies that hit you uh, and others nearby. A small fairy now follows you and shoots a freezing spell at nearby enemies. Uh, let's go with this one, since the other one... Okay, so we can have multiple down here. Hmm. Okay, I thought it might be a, a thing to swap out artifacts, or that you'd have to swap out for a different thing, maybe. Hmm. Okay, buried tunnels again. Okay. And yeah, the crosshair shows what the our little familiar is attacking. Oop, dodge that. Oop. There we go. I also like that the minimap changes to a much more focused one when you get in an area like this. Oop. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Come on, there we go. And you don't drop anything at all, cheapskate. Okay, there's something down this way. Okay, they need time to recharge. Okay, this is already getting trickier with basic enemies needing two shots. At Okay, they require three shots, so okay. This is a this is quite a steep increase in the difficulty curve. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see how many new folks we got from this. Okay, I think for every time that we give him runes, we get one other person. Okay, what can you offer? I mean, I, yeah, I make items that cause pain. I work hard to make them hurt more. Okay, so webs and bear traps. Okay, we can get those four rune stones. Six. Uh, <laughs> okay, six I'm for the healing ground. Uh, let's actually get that. Okay, and we get those with. We put those down with Q. Hmm. I'll, I'll be honest, I prefer. Yeah, I prefer games with more of a direct focus than uh, than roguelikes like this, since those tend to be more focused in their design and such. There are exceptions, like with Hades, but in general, yeah, it can just be an utter pain in the ass and just up to complete luck if you'll continue in a roguelike yeah, or in a roguelike or not. Yeah, I have some that I can tolerate, and I can see I can I can force through it after a while of grinding, but still. 
they can't be rather hit or miss. Yeah. Okay. And I'm already eager to see another game. <laughs> but this art style is not really doing for me. Like, the, the environment retreats and all looks great. Just the... Just the character you play as... Some of the mobs even looks a little bit off. Ooh, big plants. Ooh. Big plant with exploding things. Oh dear. But yeah, I... it kind of makes sense that awesome plants explode, actually. Ooh. Sort of. Let's see. What is this? Drain bites. Light recovers life after killing a number of enemies. Always useful in rogue lights. Have you ever seen the flowers that if you accidentally poke them, they explode the seeds everywhere? Don't take that out of context. <laughs> um, I think I might have heard of stuff like that. Oh, I have seen it. Me? No, I wonder if they still growing at my forest place. Oh, hello. Fires two projectiles per shot, increases the chance of finding the other twin, or movement speed up and attack speed up. Let's let's see. Twin leaf sprouts. Okay. And we can't afford that, so moving on. Okay, let's make this a, l a last run before we go. I, I was hoping more for a uh, well linear structured adventure with this. Okay, they split. So, yeah, better at hitting... Let's go stream. Wait! There's this one as well. There are some Rolex we could still do this one could sort of stream, but not really like a very YouTube video, since then you can remove all the grind and all that. Yeah, uh, Hades would Hades would be an example of a roguelike that I would definitely want to stream eventually. Yeah, that one is probably more easier to stream with, for it's probably less grind and more try and error, but every time you die, something new happens. Yeah, and just so the fact that you, you can get new story bits in, in nearly every run. Yeah, so it's less punishing thing in that way. Like, you, you don't feel like you're getting punished as much. Yeah. Hey, you come over here. <laughs> okay. Let's use that. Oop. Uh, th this this does have the this does look like it could be a pretty good. Uh, oop. Wait, does that instant kill? Or do? Hmm. Okay, it looks like these do a lot of damage. And what are you? Clever Metal Ram. After killing three enemies without taking any hits, what? Uh, is there a way I can check those? Doesn't look like you it, apparently. Armor? Okay. I think you get armor. Uh, I think. <laughs> this, this goes to show you then that how much of an effect luck can have in this. Like, we've got a few good drops and we're doing a lot better already. The library? Yeah. This it looks like a boss more fight. To not, yeah, means there's more reason to stream this, and some of these games are so heavy luck based. And it's a beholder. Ready? Yep, definitely a beholder. Hey. Uh, the holder looks kind of dirty. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear. I just remember. I, I read and watched some videos about the beholders, and they were very unpleasant. Yeah. They, they hate non-beholders, and even them, they hate other beholders. Yeah. They, they they're basically paranoia. Personified it. It's not only that, they paranoia and xenophobia personified. 
it's the strongest equip degree. <clears throat> yeah, like okay. if this is a hooder with just just a one wrinkle somewhere uh, different from themselves, it's enough for them to want to kill them. Let's see. So you're so you're one of those people trying to solve the uh, recent kidnapping. Good to see there are still people willing to fight. You'll be fighting on a full belly in no time. Okay. Um, I think I'll try playing this game a bit further on my own, but for now, for now I'll say a no to this one. Maybe if I yeah. get a bit deeper. But I... it seems to have an interesting story. A story that could be fun. Probably is the roguelike element. Is going to make it difficult to make progress. Yeah. And I guess I should have guessed that the, the graphics would be different from uh, the fact that the title is pixelized like that. Yeah. Mm. I was mentioned it earlier. And it does look like all of these characters are using a ranged weapon. Again, I'm guessing they took inspiration from Enter the Gungeon. Could be. There was a not, There was one with an electric background. Let's see if we can get that one quick and see if that one was using a bow. No, it's uh, sword and shields. Yeah, I was just saying, it uses sword and shield. Wait, it's curved. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing that... No saber. I'm guessing that's... If after enough progress we could get more characters, I, I do like that. Uh, I do like that we the the, man, the the rune stones that we collect get saved, and that that we don't need to spend them like in some games. Like I believe uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer has it like that. That if you have diamonds left, you have to spend them. Or no, no I don't think it was that. But yeah, some some roguelike games force you to throw away the resources you've gathered before you can run again. Yeah. All right. Ed, welcome back, Marco. Yep, we welcome back. Bullets? <laughs> okay, we just got back from a semi-bullet hell game. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I'm going to get a uh, barrel. Says, well, let's face it, free ammo. Anyways, on to game number six. And I'm guessing this will be the last one. Okay. Come on, game. More OBS. OBS, come on. Is it not? I hear it. Let's see. Is it? Yeah, it is selected here. Uh, let me reselect that. Go back in. Hmm. Okay, why is it... It worked earlier. Why was it refusing to capture now? Hmm. Okay, I guess that's an automatic disqualifier then. Uh, let's see. Marco, my brother left me to do all the work. Now, now, I guess some people can guess what this game is by this music here. Is it getting no not not getting what getting up? <laughs> Am I okay. right? Yep, it's Mark Echoes Sending getting up out. contents under pressure. And yeah, I guess that's an automatic disqualifier. It, 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 it works when I tested it earlier, not earlier today, which I probably should do that to double check the recordings and everything, or if everything will record, but yeah. I got it to function, but it's just refusing to work for some reason now. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mark Echo is getting up uh, under pressure. It is... Uh, I've played through that game before, and I have to say that I really do not like the combat in that, because, yeah, there's a lot of it. I don't know if there's a difficulty selector or anything, but enemy at the... If there is, then the difficulty that I played at, the enemies were just complete bullet sponges, so to say. Not that you use guns, but just it just takes so much to beat someone down. And you're going to need to beat down a lot of people in that game. Oh well. Next game oh, then. 
And I think this one will need a little introduction as well. Yeah, the moment that it actually starts up. Okay. Come on. Come on. Stupid EA and our freaking launcher. Is the launcher uh -oh. unable to make a connection or something? Let's see. EA app. Let me just start that thing up direct. Uh, yeah, they, they just couldn't start. The background services are have been disabled, preventing the app from starting. Uh, what? Uh, okay, the fuck? Turn on background services in the Windows Service Manager. What? I didn't change a thing with this, so what is it talking about? Services... Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. EA background service. What? Okay. Hmm. Okay, give me a second. But yeah, what else is there to be expected of freaking uh, EA and their bullshit? Let's see. EA launch helper. It, it is running. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like uh, we maybe better move on. Yeah, I, I want to showcase this one, so I do not get what is going on with this. Let's see. Is is a vast? Uh, let's see. Is this, has the program been put to sleep or something with this? Uh, let's see. It's uh, program sleeping. Brave. Uh, okay, yeah, the EA disabled by another program. Okay. Uh, will it work now then? Also, un incredibly stupid that a game on Steam needs another launcher to actually function. Is it working now? I see. It keeps trying yes, to start yes. up. Oh, I think there we go. Okay. I hear it, but I don't see it. Yeah, it's because this part, beyond the EA launcher, there's also another sort of launch that you need to go through. But I think whatever noise this is going to make is going to be recognized. Or not. Okay, then we'll just go straight to the thing that... The first of these three. And I think that should also be a bit of a tell of what I might be talking about here. Now that leads, I only knew it due to, uh, my, uh, to the pop up on my end. Okay, there we go. Now, is it going to capture finally? There we go. Yep. <laughs> this is Mass Effect. Or rather, the Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition version of Mass Effect 1. And for some reason, okay, there's right. black bars around everything? Oh, wait. Oh, what the... No, it's not black bars. It somehow that... Has it been it moved, moved somehow? Okay, that's weird. Okay, let me just quickly correct that then. Uh, control shift c Control shift uh, where? There. Control shift B. Oh, come on. Why won't it? Oh, wait, I know already why. Because it, for some reason OBS doesn't like it when you try to copy transforms from something in a group. There we go. Okay, that was just weird. But, yeah. What can I really say about Mass Effect that hasn't already been said by others? Yeah, the overhype. <laughs> nah, not that. But just a really good trilogy, I'd say. A, a 
Marco, it says it right here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I originally Welcome started with this game after database. I heard of Mass Effect 2. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay, we can just go with standard characters, like male and female, or we can just make your own character. Let's go with Please John at the moment. To access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay. Uh, it will set you as it will set your reputation and origin and your class automatically with this. There are six classes in total in Mass Effect. Uh, you have the soldier who is pure combat. You have the uh, biotic who is pure bio biotic. The engineer who is fully on the engineering side, and then you have three classes who are mixtures of those. The Vanguard, who is combat and uh, biotic. The Infiltrator, who is combat and tech. And the Sentinel, who is a mixture of biotic and tech. Uh, okay, you're just pulling my leg now, Marco. Identification confirmed. Okay, it's about power usage. Let's see, subtitles, let's turn those on. Tutorials, let's leave those on. Level scaling, legendary modes. In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 range. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's not do that. Let's keep the difficulty on normal and just go. Yep. You've never heard of Mass Effect? Me, <laughs> really? Well, then let this be your introduction. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn? No record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, the explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-sharing civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. But that's where they got the name from. Yep. Their Terrace Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Station secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. 
And yeah, here we have the introduction of the infamous dialogue ring. But yeah, it, apparently since Marco isn't familiar with Mass Effect, if Mass Effect is the, oh, was it? trilogy of games there was a fourth one but that one was uh, just fucked over by ea even more than anything else uh which some would call the magnum opus of bioware's well work <laughs> as in well, say it, that's dragon age yes some would say i i've heard i've started to hear, hear more mixed thing about dragon age like we all know that dragon age 2 was rushed as all hell and I'm hearing things about Dragon Age Inquisition that people are liking it less. Also, apparently the game is drawing a lot from it, since we're doing stop motion again. But yeah, this game is basically what reintroduced uh, a con uh, transferring saves from one game to another. It wasn't the original, like games in the zero 90s and zeros already did similar stuff, but it was this game who brought it back to the forefront again where actions in this game would have influences here influences in uh, Mass Effect 2 and 3. You always expect the worst. All right. Now oh, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason. So what are we doing here? Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. But, yeah. Uh, the Legendary Edition basically has remastered versions of uh, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. And uh, let me just say that these graphics are an incredible improvement upon the original. Because that came out in the... Uh, it came out a long time ago. The 2000s somewhere. And, uh, yeah. This is just an incredible increase in graphics. Because... In Mass Effect 1, you'd often be looking at some very, very, very flat and blocky textures. Congratulations, Commander. Yeah. Looks like we had a smooth oh, yeah. run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. And yeah, we can investigate things further, but for the moment, let's just be nice. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. And you were going to say something? How uh, uh, the first and second game for? When I bought them, they have already been out for a while, and I saw them on sale in a grocery store. So I got them. First one refused to work. Second one, I gave up in the tutorial. <laughs> okay, so you just had bad experiences with this series. I personally really like it, though I've never actually managed to get a complete playthrough from 1 to 3 with the same save, because I kept losing my saves. So, yeah, I have played through all three of the games. I have tried to play through Andromeda, but I just got sick of, well, the performance issues with that game. But I, I definitely want to stream this series at one point. Maybe Andromeda not, maybe some other time, maybe... Yeah, the big maybe on Andromeda itself, but I do want to stream you know, Mass Effect 1, 2, 3, just to see what the what kind of effects anything could have, because like I said, I lost my saves, so I had to go through Mass Effect 3 on, well, a bare bones run, so to say, which was rather disappointing, but... What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. 
Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. Okay, yeah. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. And like you see there, Paragon plus two. In this game, uh, well, you... <clears throat> At the absolute least in this game, you can get Paragon points or Renegade points, uh, which will... Let's see, can I open it right now? Oh, it, that's the equipment screen. Uh, 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 get me out of... Uh, uh, oops. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, they shouldn't respond to that, but yeah. We're here in our skill tree. We can put we we are limited to only three bars of charm and intimidate, which relates to Paragon and Renegade specifically. But as we get more Paragon and Renegade points through chatting, these will expand out further. And yeah, like any RPG, we can put points where we want them to get better with certain things like pistols, shotguns, assault rifles, sniper rifles. If we had uh, one of the biotic or tech classes. We would have a bit we would have different uh, things of course and here we have our meters in paragon and renegade your background and reputation start you off with a certain amount of each of these with well earthborn being the more renegade one uh let's see uh, uh what is this? Yeah, space to sprint uh, yeah, let's just move into this and chat <laughs> never get out on holes out I was to hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh, let's see, Marco... The only actually thing I know is that you can romance aliens. Uh, Hill, I have an idea if you're going to stream this series. Uh, Drakir and Chat make the choices. Uh, you know oh something? no! Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone going to fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. 
we see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Good. Earth needs the Sorry? Shepherd. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Go ahead. I was say, that's a good mindset. Yeah. Uh, like, probably can you just do the job? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Was... Hmm. Are we gonna do yeah. this, boy? <laughs> Okay, I'll just say my bit first. Probably the strongest thing about this game and the the follow-ups is basically the world that it built up. Like, you would not believe how many fanfics there are of this game where people just take the concept and run with it. And some uh, of them I'm... get really interesting with them. I, I know it a bit way too well. Bloody heck. Like... I used to like Dragon Age, but the more and more Lord learned, the less into like I did not end up like in the world. I think. Okay. This one I have certainly seen some Lord videos I found surprisingly must have to be a bit more interesting. Uh, but then is that is I have another problem, and that's the gameplay. I noticed right away is when I played it secondly, I thought, oh, it's one of these games. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to handle this uh, gameplay style. Okay. Uh... <coughs> Pardon? Uh, well, all the more reason for me to stream it then, so you can see everything about it. Oh, and, no. Yeah. I, you already raised concern that it is already draining a lot of power on your end. Uh, I just need to lower the graphics a bit for that. Just yeah, the and also at this day game. Should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got Three a problem. Long. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Here we go for all the side stuff, yes? Get down! traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. I will say that this game of all the trilogy is the most jankiest with its gameplay and such. Engaging stealth systems. So we'll see how much of that remains in this remaster. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Also, for clarification, the top choices are typically the Paragon choices, with Renegade being the bottom and while well, the middle being more neutral. 
Okay. Let's see. Left mouse to fire. What the hell are those? Yeah. Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Damn. Standard over the shoulder shooters. Alright, shooter controls. What happened here? Okay. Let's see. Switch weapons for your squads. Jenkins using a lancer, which is an assault rifle. Alenko with his pistol. They have all of these, but the, that doesn't mean they'll be proficient with them. We can also tell them to use attacks from or special abilities from this. For now, let's swap to the soldier's mainstay, the assault rifle. We sprint with space. And as is customary in a lot of Bioware's <laughs> RPG games, you start off with one companion that gets killed off almost immediately. Oh dear. Rip right through shields. We're out of chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, yeah, that's just a dumb thing that apparently Bioware has a bit of a habit of. Magigel is used to heal injured squad members. Can be used to Omni Gel can be used to bypass decryption and, and hacking challenges. Okay. Are you playing Medi Gel? Yeah. Not Magic Gel. <laughs> Try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay. One thing I noticed that is different is the little bar underneath our weapon there. Because these weapons don't, in this game at least, weapons don't use <clears throat> don't use ammo, but they do overheat. So we can fire all we want, we just need to not do too much. Okay, left shift to issue okay, attack. Yep. Oh, more drone. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, Q or E to send them ahead. Or C to call them back. Right there. There it is, another one. Let's deal with that. And... Okay, there he is. We have a little mini-map that is always useful, but it can be jammed. Not with strawberry or anything, but electronically. Okay. And two guesses who she is. Can't get into cover. And yeah. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. 
And yeah, this is our second Move squad out. mate. <laughs> and yeah, press escape to get this. Okay, spends points. Yeah, we because auto level is turned off, we can put the points there themselves ourselves. They gain less points per level than us. So let's just get first aid. Put that up. Uh, let's give you a point there, so you get the skill over kill. Oh, that's the timer. And let's see. Just uh, let's a bit of damage reductions. Oh, sorry, I don't know who actually is. For... I'm no more of the alien characters than the human ones, except for <laughs> one human who always have that weird white uniform with a lot of symbols on, or not symbols. Okay. I forgot and... her name, though. And yeah. This, the codex here, this will constantly get added onto with lore. Roughly twelve hundred. Which is actually voiced. Ago, the Turians were invited to join. So yeah, that, I just really like the world in this game, and, and one of the reasons why I never managed to get through the game with one soul save is because this game or this first game is rather clunky, like I said. But I hope they will have fixed that. Uh, like you said, this game would take quite a bit, but if we only go... I'll, I'll research and look into what actually has effects in later games, so we can avoid unnecessary side quests. But personally, I'd say a, a, a good yes on this one. I'd say maybe yes. Says I feel like research needs to be done. Okay. Then definitely on not part difficulty yeah we can put it on casual for that or story modes okay yeah probably would require it says we will we'll be streaming it okay so to summarize uh lost winds may need a bit more testing to see if it was really responsible for the audio issues that started the moment that i started the game but otherwise still uh hard maybe to yeah, know still no Okay. I uh, don't think uh, Lost Win is us, but it, it lacked something. It lacked a spark. Okay. Luftrausers, a nice little game, but not for streaming, really. Uh, Lumencraft, I'll definitely be looking into that some a bit more. So I'm putting that as a maybe yeah, lean that, to yes. Yeah, I maybe lean to yes, but that one was a bit more surprised. I was agreeing to say not stream, but once we started the actual campaign, yeah, that switched my gear, really. Yeah. I'll probably play it some more myself to see if it actually continues with having a story or if it's just random bits connected together or something. Uh, Magic Maker, nice little fun game, but I think it's a bit too silly and nonsensical, really, for streaming as a main thing or anything. Yeah. Please, I know that well as well. And Mana Spark... Uh... What are your thoughts on that one? It has a story, but... It's a no due to the rogue element, I feel like would potentially become a issue. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll play it myself a bit more, but likely a no as well. Uh, yeah. I'll see the, if I can get Mark uh, Echoes... Uh, Go ahead. Uh, I'll say, I will, I will turn it to a yes if you do some reaches and it actually won't be like it could be like a heinous world we know yeah uh mark echoes getting up contents under pressure i'll try i'll see if i can get it to work again i don't get why it's refused to con record this time i might need to resort to just screen capture instead then and mass effect legendary edition personally i i really do want to stream those eventually but not for a bit yet yeah i, I feel like it Depending on what you read shows comes up, it might be one of those where we do a few episodes, then a break, do something else, then return it to do a few more episodes. Something like that. Actually, let's see, how long to beat? Um, mass effects. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, original Mass Effect's story is said to be about 17 hours. 
uh, Mass Effect 2, 24 and a half about, and same for Mass Effect 3. Okay, and DLC is out of a few hours here. Hmm? 24 hours! Yeah. Hmm. We've we've done longer you know, we've done longer things with like uh, Bloodstained. I think we got uh, we got somewhere close to twelve episodes with that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, do so. It was well due to uh, being yeah, lost. Yeah, stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll I'll look into some things that are nice for or have an actual effect in the sequels. If it's only small stuff, I'll skip it. And, oh, Marco wants to repeat. Mass Effect 1, 17 hours. Mass Effect 2, 24 and a half. Mass Effect 3, 24 and a half. Though these aren't, though these aren't fully accurate, of course, since some people get through these games quicker than others. And there's always fluctuation in how well someone does in combat and such, which will slow down or um, speed things up. And let's not forget people rushing through uh, dialogue. Yeah, or... That would be more on speedrunner sites or something, but uh, I definitely want to set this as a yes. Yeah, I, I can win really yes, but I am actually curious more on Mass Effect World than Dragon Age World, but it's so surprising. I'm usually more fantasy guy. Yeah, with Mass Effect, there's also a lot more, a literally bigger world since there's multiple planets to cover and all of that, so like the whole freaking galaxy. Okay, um, so for now though, that's a good amount of games. So let's go look for someone to raid. Changing the screen share to Twitch. And let's see, any people who are on? We have big restreams with Stray. It looks like they just started. Sour Walrus with Aliens Dark Descent again. Okay, uh, they've, they've gotten deeper into the game <laughs> by quite a bit it seems. Seeing as they're in alien territory. Empathize is streaming Dark Souls. I'm Nice is back to Wild Hearts. Isaiah, we raided somewhat recently, so that's a bit of a skip. Oh, <laughs> since we just finished with Mass Effect, Kiri Joker is streaming Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And wait, is this the multi... Yeah, this is multiplayer. There, there's something weird with that. Like, I see people streaming Legendary Edition... But supposedly it doesn't it's not supposed to have multiplayer. So is this modded in or something? I'll need to oh, look I into know. that. Uh, let's see. Puffle is just chanting at the moment. POV you go walkies with a cat girl. What? Uh okay, they're just doing some sort of video stuff. <laughs> and then we have Horatius the Dwarf with Remnants 2. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised, but I recall people loving the first game. <laughs> okay, that's a new avatar he's got there. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, no. <laughs> the way he talks. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, any of those to raid, or shall we look for someone new? Uh, you know what? Let's look for someone new. Okay, we have Bean Goblin VT with Xenonauts 2, uh, Dome Reaper with Remnant 2 as well, Septic Quias with Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I, I, we really need to set a time or a bit of a schedule for when we start doing Star Wars games as well, because there's just so many with like Dark Forces, uh, Jedi Knights, Jedi Knights 2, Jedi Academy, it's a bunch of them. Uh, let's see, Gauntlet Queen with Pseudo Regalia. Let's see, 3D platforming Metroidvania. Uh, okay, and they're in their free stream still. And then we have Faceless Popper, which. Uh, how many people are streaming Remnant 2? Okay. It's a good game. People love it. I see even you, Frogadisha, people praising it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, any of them then? Or just. 
one of the usuals. Mm. You know what? Since we did just do a Mass Effect, so why sh why not? Yeah, do yeah. a raid right on doing Mass Effect. Yeah, speaking of WBPL seventy six, just did they just start or something? No, they've been yeah, going for a bit. Yeah. Andromeda. <laughs> They're streaming Mass Effect Andromeda. Well. Uh, shall we rate them then, since I never finished that game? Uh, sure. Let's see, Marco. Uh, you know how to get multiplayer to work in Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Marco? Uh, can, can you oh. can you can you put that up on the general gaming in the Discord? Stop! 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 Here, that something's fishy. He has never heard of Mass Effect until now. So how would he know? Yeah, I, I think he was pulling our leg before. But let's. I think he was pulling your leg. Or m maybe he doesn't know the mult. Maybe he only knows the multiplayer or something. Either way. Copy the name, slash raid and paste. And see, I am going to open up that Gauntlet Queen with pseudo regalia to take a peek at that because it's a Metroidvania and those tend to be good. And yeah, uh, j before we start this raid, of course. Uh, no, okay, what are you talking about then? That you know <laughs> how that you do know about Mass Effect multiplayer then? Okay, I'll, I'll just look it up myself then. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, before we start the raid, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. And I don't think there was, uh, but there was someone else, Pizza Lover. Thank you for watching as well. And thank you as always, Dirk here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, later today, if nothing gets in the way, we'll be continuing with Dave the Diver. I get the feeling we'll be playing that game for quite a while, if there is six chapters and even more after that. Wait, hold on. Uh, he never said he knew how to play uh, multiplayer. And I agree, it, it, it is, it's not in the chat. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's see, Marco, I don't got anyone online, but if you want someone new, I got... Oh, you were... Uh, I misread that. I mis I misread that as you giving your uh, your gaming, uh, your EA account name or something for Mass Effect 3 Online. So that, my bad on that. Uh, 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 let me solve that one quickly. <laughs> okay, I'll look it up this. Uh, let's see. Who is this? Alus123. Let me take a quick look. A E A U S123. Let's see. Oh, they're playing Non Massacre. That's a, a puppet combo horror game. Okay. Any input on that, or should we go raid the, the other Mass Effect? I say let's go raid the other Mass Effect. Okay, oh, message got deleted, but easily have to type out again. Okay, then uh, let's get that started. And yeah, like I said, if nothing gets in the way, then in about two and a half hours, we will be streaming more Dave the Diver. And yeah, until then, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone. I watch out for zombie seagulls and uh, rebel beavers.